This is the Duralast rechargeable portable electric screwdriver. And I found this at a local thrift shop for like a buck or something like that. And it is completely dead. It doesn't take any charge at all. These are quite useful. This particular device it has a pivot point. So you can, you know, sort of hold it like that or hold it like that. But it's not going to do anything for us unless we can make this thing take a charge again. So we're going to take this thing apart and see what we can do. The thing is basically in two sections. On this side we have four screws. And on this side we have four screws. Now here we have a screw on each side. I suspect that that's designed to hold something in place. Now we've now that we've got the half of it off, we can see that articulate we can see that articulating mechanism. There's quite a bit of oily material in here. I wonder where that came from. Perhaps the previous owner was working on something oily, or perhaps it is leaked out of the motor or the gear mechanism. I don't know. But what we have here is three batteries. It appears to have suffered from overheating. It appears to be warped and partially melted. There's some greenish material here indicating that there looks like there was some battery leakage. I can clearly see that there are three batteries here. We may have trouble getting this open, however. It looks like somebody may have tried. It looks like somebody may be pried here in the past. Okay, it's coming open. They all appear to have leaked. They're all nickel cadmium batteries. They all appear to have leaked. So we have a, a battery pack containing three nickel cadmium batteries, and it's inside of this two part container. We were able to pry it open, at least, we were able to get one side of this thing off. The other side is really stuck on there. It, it looks like it's warped. It looks like it's been subjected to a lot of heat. And it looks like somebody had wedged a screwdriver here in the past trying to pry it open. I'm having really a lot of trouble getting this side off. I'm not going to be able to replace those batteries. I took a Dremel Moto tool and I cut a gash right down the side right there. Maybe I can loosen this up a little bit and maybe I can get these batteries out of here. Well, I kept wrestling with it, and I finally managed to slide the batteries out of this holder. A uh, combination of, you know, prying and tugging, and you know, I finally got I finally got enough room to where it would slide out. I would like to preserve this container as much as possible because I'd like to reuse it. It's it's really designed to fit, you know, right in this space. It'll make it a lot easier later on when I get replacement batteries in here. I have got three uh, recycled batteries here out of other devices. These three batteries were cannibalized from other battery packs, where the other batteries were either uh, leaking or shorted. These batteries all take a charge. I, I put them on a battery charger and I checked them after a week and they were all still holding charge. So I'm going to try to recycle these. I'm going to try to turn these into a battery pack and substitute for these batteries. Now, they all have tabs on them, so that should make it a little easier. Now, in this case, this really long tab, this is going to be the, the tricky one here to reuse that. I may have to try to tear that off and see if I can't graft it onto one of these batteries. Now, usually I would just buy new nickel cadmium batteries with tabs already on them and there's lots of sellers on eBay that sell these things. Well first we gotta get this off sort of glued on this one here. I'd like to get it off without breaking it. 
Aha, uh -huh, good, we got it. Now we need to try to reproduce the arrangement of these batteries. These are my replacement batteries. These are the originals. I've more or less got the circuit reproduced here. The problem are these connections to the, uh, to the, to the screwdriver. This thing fit in here like so. I'm having trouble getting this thing to fit back in here. So I'm going to have to sort of jerry-rig around that and probably just solder this thing directly into the screwdriver. I'm going ahead and soldered one wire to the negative terminal and one wire to the positive terminal. And we'll see what we can do with that. Okay, I've put that bottom cap back on here so that it would sort of fit in here properly. And part of that upper cap as well. So we get the spaces right, and now I just have to solder it to, got a couple points here, one for the positive, and one for the negative. We'll see, see if we can get that soldered on there. Okay, I've got that battery pack soldered into these two points on this board here, bypassing these prongs. And it more or less fits. We can just kind of test it and, aha. Uh -huh seems to work. Now we'll just put that side back on it and we should have a working screwdriver. Put those articulated parts back together. Okay, it's all screwed back together again. Very good. It will live to screw another day.